Hello and welcome to today's podcast. The second pre-season test at Bahrain has come to a close and we are getting even closer to the start of the Formula 1 season in Melbourne. So, we're going to go straight into today's action and we had seven red flags today. Can you believe it? Seven red flags. The first one came from Marcus Ericsson this morning stopping out early on track. Second of all came from Nico Rosberg. And third red flag was caused by Sergio Perez, and that caused the end of his session because he had a mechanical problem which stopped um, Sergio Perez from continuing the session today, and he was seen later on kicking the football bout in the paddock because there was no need for him to get in the car, so he was just enjoying his time last day in Bahrain until next week. Whether he's staying in Bahrain, I don't know. Roman Grosjean has already flown back to Heathrow Airport and he had a bit of problem because one of his planes got delayed because one, something was broken on one of the planes, so he had to wait for a new plane to arrive. So now he's um, going home and looking forward to next week, obviously for Lois, because Lois didn't have the best week and that brings us on to the fourth red flag because Maldonado had the fourth red flag today and then the fifth was for Nico Rosberg again and Adrian Satil was the sixth red flag and he took the track nearly seven hours after the green light went at the morning session so an eight hour test you have in Formula 1 in pre-season and he nearly went up to the seventh hour before edging out and then when he did finally edge out it wasn't long until he found himself stuck on the track and he was um being pushed back towards the pit lane and Sam was struggling with their problems at the moment. So, 7th flag was right in the session. I think it was a bit of a, a fuel management to see uh, how, you know, Formula 1 cars, they do it, Formula 1 teams do it all the time, where they do a fuel management and fuel run-out test to see, you know, what the data says when they're going to run out fuel and, you know, and see how accurate that actually is. So, Kimi Räikkönen did that. was about 4 minutes towards the end of the session. So, therefore... The day was done for that. Marusha, though, moving on to Marusha, because they had another poor day. They've been the poor team, really, throughout the whole test, not being able to get many laps in today at all as well, considering all the other days, only five laps in today with Jules Bianchi, and they have said that there is a component problem with the car, therefore, and it's causing them to stop. So that component, they haven't named what the component is, but it's just a component failure with the reliability, and that's just not allowing them to have any sort of any good running for this week so they've had a pretty problematic session and they've fallen a bit behind and as as I've been mentioning it throughout these podcasts that Graham Loudon has said that they'd be you know going for Q2 qualifying positions in Melbourne and in future races to come at the beginning of the test and now looking at the timing and um the the timing of the sessions is not done too well for uh, Marusha with that but we're going to also talk about Red Bull struggling yet again only completing 15 laps completed by Ricardo today so they obviously need to step up the game a little bit for next week because they're having some good days and then bad days so we just don't quite know with Red Bull at the moment um, and so that brings us to today's lap time today's lap time is Nico Rosberg despite stopping twice uh, for red flags, he did 89 laps today with a clock and with the quickest time of the four days with a 1 minute 33.2. Jensen Button was second with a 1 minute 34.9, completing 66 laps today. Kimi Raikkonen posted a 1 minute 36.7, he completed 82 laps today. Felipe Nazir, um, he is now the new third driver, so the reserve driver for Williams. And he's taken on that role. He was announced today, given Bottas and Massa the the time off, basically, as he drove around today. He completed 87 laps in his first time in the car, and probably the only time in the car, unless they give him any time next week. But that is highly doubtful, considering it's now getting even closer to Melbourne. Maldonado was in fifth with a 1 minute 38.5, completing 59 laps. Sergio Perez was sixth with a 1 minute 39.2, only completing 19 laps, as I said. That mechanical failure caused him to miss the whole day. And Daniel Ricciardo was even worse. Lap-wise, he did 1 minute 39.8, and he did 15 laps, as I said, not long ago. And John Eric Verne didn't complete that many laps either, with 19 to his name. Kobayashi took over in the afternoon. He finished ninth from Eric from Ericsson, who had problems in the morning. He only completed four laps. 
Uh, Kobayashi though did a time of 1 minute 43.6, completing those 17 laps, and Ericsson was 10th with 1 minute 45.0, completing only 4 laps. There was a problem because of the first red flag that Ericsson caused, and then that caused them to just have to fix the car, change, look around with a power unit for uh, the afternoon session for Kobayashi, and Kobayashi was able to get out there and do a little bit of laps. And Sutil did, did not do a time, he was 12th. And Bianchi didn't do it in time, he was 11th classified because he did it first. And Bianchi only did 5 laps, as I mentioned, with Marusha and Sotil only 7 laps because of him failing once he did finally get out 7 hours later. So Caterham, as I said, were fixing uh, around the power unit today, and which took long, which took why Kobayashi only did 17 laps and why Ericsson only did 4. Um, but really and truly... For today and for the last day, it was just a lot of action, you know, a few reliability problems for teams that we've seen already. Whether that's going to be a hint for the season to come, that is a, a huge question. But really, that all sums up the day here at Bahrain. Please remember to join me next time for the final pre-season testing at Bahrain. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, favourite and subscribe to F1 Breakdown. We will see you again next week. From next Thursday, because next Thursday is the next day of testing from Bahrain. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.